Hello guys and here's part four of our Wally -E tutorial here in Blender. So you should be around this point with your model by now. Um, if you've been following along with the tutorials, if not, skip back and you can build up the model to this stage. Um, or you can also download from the previous tutorial the model and you'll get what we're currently looking at here. So we're done now with all of the symmetrical stuff, everything which is symmetrical on our uh, main Wally -E body here. And what we're going to do now is start working on the asymmetrical details. So those are the details which are not going to be copied on both sides. You'll see at the moment, if we're going to edit mode, we work on one side and everything we do on one side is automatically copied to the other side. Now, if we go in um, to object mode and we apply our mirror modifier, you'll see the mirror modifier now disappears and we now have one editable mesh. And now what we do on one side will no longer be reflected on the opposite side. So we can now work on the asymmetrical details, such as these buttons here. So we have three buttons on the left and one on the right. And that's what we're going to start off with creating. So we'll go to the top view. We're going to want to zoom in in the area that we're going to be working on, which is here. So we're going to create buttons on the left and a single button on the right. So we'll start with the single button on the right. Easy to do. We get a knife tool. See for constraints to make sure we get a nice straight edge. And again, now we're going to make three buttons on this side here. So here is our first button. We have a gap in between. Here's our second button. The gap in between. And our third button has a gap at the end. So now we have created our three buttons on the left and our one button on the right. We'll go into face select mode, select all three, and the one on the right. E to extrude, we'll extrude those buttons upwards. Build it too high. Now we're going to go into edge select mode. I want to select all of the front edges of these buttons. Control B for bevel. And to add some bevel to them. And then we'll increase the number of segments so we have a curved front edge on those buttons. So now we've created our first asymmetrical detail there. Now our next one is going to be this recessed area here. So let's um, work on that. So we'll go to our front view, edit mode, and get our knife again. I'll zoom in here. Gonna start cutting around this place, see for constraints. That will cut out a shape. So we're going to edge select, deselect those two edges, and then we're going to create a face there in the middle. Now we can grab that face, we can extrude it inwards. Go back to our front view. Now we've got this area at the top as well that we need to do. So, um, We'll create that again using our knife tool. We'll cut up across and down. Move that edge 
over to the left. I'm going to select this face. I'm going to extrude it inwards a little bit. Then I'm going to delete this face here. Go back to our front view because this has a, um, a shape to it also on the corner there so we should add that in so again we'll get the knife tool and we're going to cut this shape like so Okay, now we've done that, we'll select this edge, uh, this face, we'll extrude it inwards, and then we're going to let's delete this face. And then we can do, remove this face also. Now we'll recreate single face here so by selecting these edges and make face from the edges there we go okay front view again now we're going to make one final recessed area knife tool see for constraints Cut all the way around here. We'll grab that face. And we'll extrude it inwards a little. Now that's done. Face select. And we can remove. this face same on the other side and again we can remove that face and then recreate it from our edges There. Okay, so that's our detail on the right side. Now we need to do a similar thing on the left to make this console. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to add in this pipe. So that's done by creating a new object. So we go back out into object mode, create cylinder, scale this cylinder down. And we'll position it where required. Okay. Once we have this positioned around where we want it, I'm going to create a new cube, a new cylinder, which again will be scaled down, 
dragged into position. So this is effectively the clamp which is holding our pipe in place. There, and then we'll go um, Command C, Command V to copy this and paste it. And we drag it up there. Scale on the Z axis, we'll make it a little smaller. Same with this one. So there we have our pipe. Now we'll select those objects and our main object and go to join and that makes it all one. So now we've got our buttons, our pipe and the beginning um, part of the console here. We just need to do the left part of the console which is like the the speaker. So I'm going to go over into time-lapse mode while I do this um, so you can see it's done exactly the same way using the knife tool cutting things out and extruding them to create this area here. So now uh, we're done with those asymmetrical details on the front control panel there. Um, once we light our model and begin to render it, they'll show up a little bit better, but um, you can see that the, the cutaways are there. We've got our um, pipe added in, and we're pretty much done now with the details that are needed for now for the um, body here of Wally. So in the part five of the tutorial, we're going to start moving on to this neck area and then later on onto the head the head's got quite some detail especially around the rear we've got these pipes and um, hydraulic hoses and whatnot that we're going to have to create um, so yeah in part five we're going to start off with this neck area um, before moving on to the head later on so i hope that you found this useful please hit like and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos that we're creating here um, I hope you found this useful and you can download the project file at the bottom of this YouTube video. You'll find the link to download this project file so you can follow along and you can take a look at what we've been building ourselves here in this Wally tutorial. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.